Boss Gang and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carlos Alfredo and I am back with another Lip of the Week. For those that are new to my channel, Lip of the Week is a weekly series in which I review a brand new lip product for you guys. And this week we have none other than a Lime Crime Diamond Crushers Lip Toppers. These originally retail for $20 each, and you can get them at Ulta or online through the website. However, I was lucky enough to grab these for only $5.99 over at my best and favorite place, TJ Maxx. I was just walking down the aisles and I saw these and I'm just like, since I did pick these up over at TJ Maxx, they didn't have all the shades available, so I only picked up the four that I felt complemented my skin tone the best. I'm really excited to go on and review these for you guys, so stay tuned and keep watching. Whenever I try or test out a new product or review it for you guys, I like to go ahead and read their online description or gather as much information as possible so I have a good idea of what the product is going to be like and I want to see if the marketing matches what it really is. Diamond Crusher's Lip Topper. It is not a gloss but a revolutionary topper using prismatic revolutionary technology. So off the bat, it is not a gloss so I'm kind of skeptical as to how it's gonna wear because glosses are supposed to be more of a thickness consistency a little bit more of like a satiny feel to it you can wear it bare on the lips or on top of lipstick so you can wear it without any product or you can wear it on top of a another lip product it is a water-based formula it's long lasting and feels like nothing is on the lips. It is cruelty free and vegan. Also, it can be used or doubled up as a highlighter. Let's go ahead and start with the first shade. The first shade I picked up is going to be in the shade Choke. And before I actually open these, I just wanna go ahead and just show you the product that it came with. It comes in this clear plastic uh, material and it has the Lime Crime logo and like this lavender. I really do like the color of the logo. I love that it comes in the plastic so it's protecting the product. Is it good for the environment? Not really. I'm sure if it came in a paper or biodegradable I would like it a little bit more. It has like this lavender glittery kind of top to it. It has this really thick plastic, almost like glass kind of feel. Each of these has 0.14 ounces. So you're not really getting a lot of product. Um, 0.14 is quite low, I would say. But if it's highly pigmented, I guess you really don't need that much. But it would be nice to at least have 20 ounces, especially if they are saying that it can be doubled as a highlight. This shade is like a pearly pink with like a confetti glitter in it. So it's giving me like super baby pink with like a little bit of confetti, lo lots of glitter. It's picking up the blues, the pinks, and um, the greens pretty, pretty well. So it's like a really baby pink. This is what the wand looks like. It's a really thin and long wand. Personally, I think the wand could be a little bit better, but... Maybe because it's highly pigmented, they made it like this. Now I just want to see if there is a smell to it, because if there's a smell, A+, plus. if no, I don't know, maybe C. I am picking up a little bit of fragrance. It doesn't have a lot of fragrance, it has a little bit. It's giving you like that floral plastic smell. I really don't care for it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you guys can see what it looks on. Definitely it picked up the glitter a lot. The glitter sticks on like together. It doesn't glide super nice. It's really kind of like a chunky glitter vibe. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the lips just to kind of see. Right now I'm not wearing anything on there so I am bare. I did moisturize and exfoliate my lips so I did prep them but I don't have anything on other than a little bit of chapstick that I applied like about 10 minutes ago. So let's just see. Mm. 
that's what it looks on extremely pigmented it feels really watery it does feel like i don't have anything on my lips like they advertised it dries pretty quick since it's water it is a little bit more it dries up faster so it doesn't linger on the lips like a lip gloss with this formula i understand why it's very liquidy because if you can double it as a highlighter they want it to glide on easily and they don't want to leave kind of stickiness on your cheek and that's pretty much what i'm getting on my lips i actually kind of like it all right let's go ahead and move on to the second shade so the second shade i picked up is called pink pearl so it's in this white pearl color and it has like pink blue and green confetti glitter in it let me just go ahead and swatch it for you guys that's what it looks like. You honestly can't even see it. It's picking up more like the pink and green glitter to it. <laughs> Let's just see what it looks like on. I feel like I have literally a disco ball on my lips. I feel like this shade though picked up the glitter so much more for some reason. Definitely with that shade, I would have to put it over like another product. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the third shade. For the third shade, I picked it up in the shade Lit. Pretty much, it's like this really rose gold mauve rosy pink and it has gold shimmer in it. This is the first one that I saw. And when I saw this one, I'm just like, I'm sold. Like, I need to pick this up. I just really need to see what it looks like on. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Just so you guys can see what it looks like on the skin. Highly pigmented. More pigmentation. It's giving me like this corally kind of pink gold vibe. It's a pink with gold in it. It reminds me of the NARS Orgasm Blush that I love. That's like my go-to blush. So I'm really excited to see what it would look on my lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply it on the lips to see what it looks like on. It has a lot of gold. It made my lip super shiny. Highly pigmented. I actually do like it. I'm not mad at it. I feel like this is a good base, but I feel like I do have to apply something over it. Now, let's move on to the last and final shade. For the last and final shade, I have this shade over here, and it's going to be in the shade Summer. So, it's pretty much like this super coral color, and it has a lot of pink and gold finish to it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys, so you guys can see what it looks like on. And it's giving me like this super coral almost like light red brown kind of vibe now i'm gonna try it on to see what it looks like on the lips this is what it looks like on it definitely complemented my skin type a lot and it actually does look like my regular lip color i feel like this one i can wear by itself to be honest pretty cute i like it not bad i'm really curious to see what this is gonna look like with another lip product so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my kylie cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade one wish as a base and this as a topper let's just see what that combination looks like what it does and how it applies with other lip products So yeah, I have the liquid lipstick on. Now I'm going to apply the shade Lit, which is the corally one with the gold finish. Just to kind of see what it looks like on. Oh, cute. I do feel like the small wand is really useful when you're applying it over another product. Because if it was a jumbo wand, it would just kind of go all over. But this, you have... A little bit more preci precision I actually do like this combination a lot it's giving me like super 90 glitter vibes like 90 I'm going to prom vibes <laughs> it's super gold like it's really gold 
you can totally tell I have something on, like from far away. Now, because I also say that this can be used as a highlight, I want to see what it looks on as a highlight. And I'm actually going to go ahead with the same shade, just to kind of see what it does. And generally in this area. Oh my god. Very bright highlight. Yeah, I mean, this is like a full-on highlight. So this is like a highlight lip product. Like a highlighter in a lip. Which is kind of cute. I'm living for it. I really do like the shade. I don't know, lit is just lit. Like lit is the, lit, lit is the one. I really do like the shade. So final thoughts. For $5.99, these products are pretty good. I would say that they're highly pigmented. They're not lip glosses at all. I would say it's more of a highlighter in a lip gloss. Definitely, I feel like you should be careful with the shade that you pick. For $5.99, I would say they're worth it. So if you see it at TG Maxx or somewhere else, I would pick them up if you want like a quick glitter moment. However, I don't know how I feel about paying $20 for these. I think the formula is just too drying and it doesn't hydrate my skin they're not bad but they're just not my something i would naturally go for but yeah you guys that's pretty much gonna be it for this week's lip of the week thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and for coming back for more don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to share this video like give it a comment let me know if these shades worked out bye Thank you.